Hello solar folks, my name is Jeremy Allen here with Wholesale Solar and today we're going to talk about properly sizing off-grid solar PV systems. We're going to go over the different common PV systems that folks will purchase from us, the different appliances that they will run and the cost of those systems. Let's define an off-grid system. Off-grid is without the grid, no connection to the power grid. We're going to be in an RV with batteries. We're going to be in a hunting cabin or vacation cabin with batteries, or even our full main home with batteries and solar. That's off-grid. So what we're going to go over today is the differences between those systems, the appliances that they can run, and the cost differences between each. I take calls on a regular basis where folks are looking to run an air conditioner in an RV or in a small cabin. And while this is entirely possible, it may not completely align with the amount of money that they're looking to spend on that system. So when we look at sizing an off-grid system, we really need to be realistic on what we're trying to run and how much we're looking to spend to run those appliances. To properly size an off-grid system, we need to do a complete load evaluation of the project that you're looking to put together. Now, this could be really simple if you're going from a home that's grid-tied to a home that's off-grid and they're almost the same exact size home. I mean, really, then we can take your power bill, look at how many kilowatt hours per month you're using, and just turn that into the off-grid system. Now, off-grid system is going to be a little less efficient than the grid-tied system, so it might be a little bit larger as far as the solar array but the idea is pretty much the same. Now, what we're trying to do is store the amount of energy we're gonna use in a day in a battery bank and then size the solar array to the same to be able to charge that battery bank in four to five hours. If we throw that balance off at all, batteries won't get a full charge and chances are they won't have a warranty once they go dead. In order to design the balance in that system, we've got some free tools on our website to help you out. The load evaluation worksheet that you'll find on wholesalesolar.com will give you a place to line out all the different appliances that you plan to use, along with how many hours each will be running. We need to know what your instantaneous wattage is gonna to be to be able to size the inverter properly because that's what's running those AC loads. And then we need to know how many watt hours in a day so that we can size the battery bank to actually hold that. The rest of the system falls in place as a balance. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use a 100 watt light bulb as an example on how to size the battery based system the way that our load evaluation sheet's gonna help you do so. If you take a 100 watt light bulb, let's say you got two of them, so that's 200 watts instantaneous. You need an inverter that's gonna be able to handle 200 watts instantaneous. So that's sizing our inverter. Now, if we look at those two light bulbs running for four hours, that's 800 watt hours. That's what we actually need in usable storage in our battery bank. Now the battery bank will be a little more complex than that. We actually need double that in the battery bank so we don't ever go below 50% depth of discharge. But that's the basics. Now, imagine just that scenario multiplied by all of the different appliances that you plan to run. That is your off-grid system. That's what we need to see on paper so that we can help you size that system properly. You're probably wondering, what are my power requirements gonna cost me? Let's take a look at some common packages. The Weekender system. This system will cost between $1,500 to $4,000. The inverter size will range between 300 and 1,000 watts. This system will commonly be used for small seasonal cabins with minimal power requirements, including basic lighting, cell phone and tablet charging, TVs, maybe an efficient mini fridge. The cabin systems. These systems will range between $7,000 to $10,000. The inverter will range from 3,500 to 4,000 watts. This system is perfect for small cabins and it's very efficient small households, commonly used for basic lighting, cell phone and tablet charging, TVs, basic refrigerator, and very small power tools. The homestead system. These systems will range between $10,000 and $13,000. The inverter size is gonna be 4,000 watts. This system is designed specifically for small homes that will have basic lighting, cell phone and tablet charging, computers, TVs, basic refrigerator, small power tools, basic washing machine, and even a small well pump. The lodge system. These systems will range from $15,000 to $24,000. The inverter size will be 4,400 watts, which is expandable up to 8,800 watts. 
These are perfect systems for small and medium off-grid homes with a well pump. These will include homes which have basic lighting, cell phone and tablet charging, computers, TVs, basic refrigeration, small power tools, washing machine, and even your basic coffee maker, toaster oven, and other kitchen appliances, as well as that well pump. The ranch systems. These systems will range from $25,000 to $45,000. The inverter size will range from 8,800 watts to 13,200 watts. These systems are designed for bigger off-grid homes or small farms and businesses with a large number of applications, including, but not limited to, lighting, cell phone and tablet charging, computers, TVs, power tools, washing machines, coffee maker, toaster oven, and other kitchen appliances, garage door openers, security systems, refrigerators and freezers, as well as well pumps. The cost of all these systems is going to vary based on the type of battery technology that you choose to go with and the final system design that we come up with. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or would like a free assessment, feel free to give us a call.